We not out here to play damn games out here in Augusta, Georgia, man. Right. I came all the way from Atlanta, Georgia to bring this word out that we may find this whole sheep on the house of Israel, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is my hometown. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? We gonna bring this word out for y'all about you know what We don't give a damn what man got to say. We don't give a damn what frowns on your face. We don't give a damn about the police. Give a damn about the damn governor. We gonna bring the word out, man. Hey, let this thing take me to death, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not scared of them. These brothers are here, man. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the word? That's what I'm saying, man. I want people still rebellious. Let me get the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 6, verse 8. Let me get Psalm, chapter 94, verse 16. And let me get another reader, man. Let me get another reader. Another reader. You know what I'm saying? Because this is, this is ridiculous, man. All right. All right. Bring it up here. This is Isaiah, chapter 6, and verse number 8. Bring it out. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Who shall I send? Who shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, here am I. Then said I, here am I. What's the real person? Then said I, here am I. What's that to us, sir? Then said I, here am I. What's that to us, sir? I, here am I. Here am I, man. We right here in the streets of Augusta and brought it to man. We right here ready to serve the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? People get to, people get it twisted. They think you're all about you know what Who the enemy called Jesus Christ with right. some little weak man. Right. Hey, brother, are you a weak man, brother? Come on now. I'm asking the question, brother. Come build with me. Come on, brother. Come on, build. Come on, build with me, King. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Hey, it takes a strong man to come hear the words of wisdom, man. Right, right. right. Psalm chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Against who? Against the evil doers. Against who? Against the evil doers. We know much about people are evil doers, man. Right. We know Esau tricked them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Again, King. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Right. We're here to rise up against you, man. That's right. That's the Holy Bible. But first of all, I'm going to rise up against my own damn people. Right. Right. We want two of these brothers to come out here because they might want to keep you alive, man. We ain't not here to serve you no damn weed. Right. We ain't not here to serve a sack. Right. We ain't not here to push up on the nearest sister. Right. We ain't for work for the Lord, man. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if that's a damn punk, man. That's why you hear us crying out loud and swearing out, man. Right. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the word of the Lord, King. Come on, one minute, King. One minute, King. One minute, King. That sister ain't going nowhere, brother. Come on, she know a strong violent man when she see one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know your, let me ask you a question. You know your nationality, King? Good question. Your nationality. Because our people, it, 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 we say different things. I can ask our people, three of our people can come up here and they can say three different things. One, one might get confused and say two different things. Right. Listen. Right. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. You know what? Watch this. Let me get Isaiah 1 and 3. Break it out. Cause this is, you know what? You just you just actually committed prophecy. Right? You brought prophecy forth in these last days. Man. That's right. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's trail. But Israel, but who? By Israel, who? By Israel, do not know. And that's what I'm saying, man. I want people don't even know who we are. That's man. right. Read. It's lucky. And it reads. Do not know my people do not consider. Our people don't even consider. They walk to and fro with the Indian man selling a damn bag, a damn Philly blood. Right. Put a damn bag, a whole damn gram in a damn blood, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? To get high as hell and don't even know who they are, man. Right. And you don't know who you are, how the hell is going to, how you going to get an inheritance? You know, if you, if you got people in your family who die, brother, you got people who die, you know what I'm saying? And if the will was left to you, brother, how would you know that you're getting that inheritance if you don't know who you are? Right. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Let me get Romans 9 and 3. Watch this, kid. Bring it up. Because I'm going to show you something. Read. Let me get Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Read. Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. Bring it up. For to wish that my son were cursed from Christ for my brethren, uh -huh. my kinsmen, according to the flesh. You my brother, man. You my kinsmen, according to the flesh, Read. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? To whom pretended the adoption? How you gonna get the adoption, brother? You don't know who you are. Read. And the glory. The glory. And the covenant. And what? And the covenant. The Lord made a covenant with us. How you gonna grab a hold of that gift, brother, if you don't know who you are in these last days? Read. 
and the giving of the law and the service of God and the service of God so often and the service of God the so called Israelites were the only one that had the spirit and power of Machek Yahushua and the right to, to do so to teach this word man. that's right we and the promises and the what and the promises the promises brother you don't know who you are how you gonna get the promises it's just like you got a wheel you show up to the damn wheel. They got the lawyer out there. He got the kid up there. The big nasty briefcase. You know what I'm saying? And he got gifts in there. Houses, their property. And you don't even know who you are. Right. You want to find out why we don't know who we are, brother? What? What? Of course. Do not touch 20 every 15. Stop it, Timothy. You remember Moses? You remember Moses, brother? Everybody know Moses split the Red Sea and everything. Remember God gave Moses command to get the children of Israel? Watch it read. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Yeah. This is right after the Lord gave these hard haired people his attention and gave him his ways. The keys to the king. What he likes. What he finds favor in. That's the key to the king. Read. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses. All these what? All, all these curses. Let me ask you a question, brother. Is the curse a good thing or a bad thing? Good question. Great question. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Let, let, let's keep it in the context. Go to verse 1. Verse number 1 of Deuteronomy 28. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass if thou wilt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments. Which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations that are upon the earth. And all these blessings, and all these blessings. You see this verse in verse 1, the Lord is talking about what, brother? Blessing, right? So 15 must not be good at it. Come on, verse 15 again, read it. Verse 15 from the top. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. And the statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And you know what I'm saying? These, these are curses. Let me give you a couple of these curses, brother. Don't let you go, okay? You know what I'm saying? Let's give the brother some curses, man. You know what I'm saying? You give me 68. You give me 36. You give me 48, King. Read that. Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment. An astonishment. All these different damn things. Oh, look at the people. We look, our, 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 our enemy nations look at us and like, look at these Negroes. Right? I ain't gonna say the word, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a bad word back then, but you know, back then it was just, it was just a bit dark face. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Look at these niggas. They shoot each other. They hate each other. Look how they act. Give them a damn Popeye's chicken sandwich. Right? And see if they don't kill each other. Read a proverb and a byword and a byword and a byword and a byword Afro American and a byword. All these are bywords that have been placed on us by our so called enemy, man. Read and it reads among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Let's get in the verse 42. Verse 42. All thy trees and fruit of thy land shall the locusts consume. And these people took all our land. Did you understand that so-called Native American is partial to the children of Israel? She knows she knows. Right. That's why some of them look just like us, right? Right. Look at it. Didn't they lose their land? How did, did the children of Israel get kicked out of Jerusalem? Right. It's been consumed by these locusts, man. That's right. Put it there with you. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Shall about what? Shalt thou serve thine enemies. enemies. What's ready right for a staff and serve? Shall thou serve thine enemies. enemies. Man, that's what we're doing in America, man. Let me ask you a question. I don't give a damn what you buy if you got your own business. You're going to still support their business. That's right. That's right. You got to buy all your commodity from them. That's man. right. The Lord said, We in America, we serve our enemy. That's man. right. Give me a sign, man. We're the slavery time. When we were back in these days, we were serving our enemy, man. That's right. We were in the cotton field, sugarcane fields, all type of fields, man. Serving, and now we're in the work field right here in Babylon still, and we serving our enemy, That's man. That's right. Last time I checked, a so-called white man signed my damn check. Right. We? Which the Lord shall sin against thee. No, they just so tripped upon. 
which the Lord shall send against thee. See, the Lord sent these people against us, man. That dude right there with the little Hawaii 5 shirt, the Lord sent him, man. You know what I'm saying? And all people following them down like little puppies, man. That's right. Laughing and giggling and joking, man. Ain't nothing damn funny in Babylon when you realize you've been in prison for 44 damn years. Right? Read. In hunger. In what? In hunger. What's the last thing you ate, my brother? What's the last thing you ate? Uh -huh. let, let me ask, where you bought it from? Huh? Okay, but well, where? Where you get the utensils to make it from? Uh -huh. Who on Walmart? Okay, where you, King? In hunger uh -huh. and in thirst. When, you, when the last thing you drank some, bro? <laughs> then they poured in the water. We can't even just go to the stream and get no water no more. Right? You know, I remember years ago, right? all the way down to Lady Walker, uh -huh. turning on a little speaker. Right. And give me a little water. Wow. You, know I mean? you can't do that no more, That's man. That's right. Uh, this damn devil to poison the water. This guy right here, he has poison the water, man. Right. You can't even take a good, clean, deep breath these days, man, without choking yourself because he poisoned the air, man. Read. In thirst and in nakedness uh -huh. and in what of all things. My driver's life. And in what of all things. My damn car. And in what of all things. Okay, we, everything we get, we got to get from them, brother. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Let me get verse 64. Right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 64. Bring it out! And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Uh -huh. What do you think? That we were scattered among all, he, That's all right. people, man. That's right. Slave train. Right. And let a slave train, man. Right. Hey, the arrows with different wings. Uh -huh. The Chinese man got a little of us. Uh -huh. The Indian man got a little of us. The so-called white man got the large of us. Right. Okay? Right. This is not a damn game, man. Right. Now watch this other prophecy, brother. Let me get this last curse for you, brother. Let me get verse 54. Somebody give me 28. Man. Bring it out. I'm 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee unto Egypt again. And what? And to Egypt again. Let me ask you a question. What was the Israelites doing in Egypt, brother? Mm. Who was that brought them out? Good question. What is it? Man, what, what, somebody give me uh, 22, man. You know what I want. Come. Watch this. Let me, let me show you what I'm doing in Egypt, man. Read. Make it up, man. Separate yourself, sister, and repent and come back Thank to the you. Lord before you destroy you and his sissy ass white man. Right. That's right. Read the king. Exodus, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God. Thy God, that word thy is a possessive word. That's right. I mean, he only, he only loves you. Read. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. He brought about the slavery. He brought about the Lord. He's holy. He sent his servant Moses to get the children that he loved, that he had sworn unto himself from the beginning of the foundation of the earth. Then bring them out of Egypt, man. Out of the house of bondage, man. Now give me two, give me 68 again for the top king. What's this? This is the book of I'll let you get time to Chapter miss 28 and verse 68. Yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt or slavery or bondage again. Uh -huh. Again. The Lord bring them. He said, I'm going to bring y'all back into slavery again. How we got over here, bro? Oh, hold on. Did we ride a plane? Did somebody drop you off in a Bugatti? <laughs> Wheels what? Hey. Hold on. All praise. Y'all get the brother a hand, man. All praise. Read it for the top king. What? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt or slavery again with ships. With what? With ships. With ships. By the way, whereof I spoke to the way of I spoke to thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And we ain't see no homeland no more again. Man. That's right. We still running around here in America talking about we African Americans. The strongest and most brightest people in the world talking about I love you, Master. The hell with the damn master. Right? That's right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is bringing us free in these last days, man. First spiritual, man. The Lord, the Lord is bringing us out of these chains, brother. You said we had chains around our neck. The Lord is breaking these chains spiritually, brother. Come on, stay with me real quick, King. Stay with me. Read it from the top again, all the way to the bottom. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, and what? And there, there, right here in America, brother Reed, ye shall be sold 
Until your enemy, I'm a friend. Until, until your, your enemy. enemy. Until, until your, your enemy. enemy. Cool. Until, until your, your enemy. enemy. Call them your enemies. That's right. You cannot walk hand in hand with a so-called white man today because they're your damn enemies. That's right. right. The Lord did not bring us together so we can be cool singing kumbaya together, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That ancestors murdered millions of our ancestors, man. Let me get to the Roman chapter 32 and verse 7. We got to remember what happened to us in these days, man. We cannot forget that. Why? That's why we get killed and green. Pretty bar Martin. That's why we get murdered in the same streets that we was murdered in back in these days, man. Right. Deuteronomy 32 and verse number 7. Remember the days of old. Said what? Remember the days of old. They tell us to forget slavery then. Oh, guys, come on. Just move on. Right. Yeah, it's a new generation. And y'all still picking us and popping us off and staying on top of us. Read. Consider the years of many generations. The only thing, look, the only thing the so-called African American, the so-called black man, the so-called really true Israelite can do in America is consider the days of many generations. And all this go back to this right here. Burning, lynching, hanging. Hey, don't smell good for you, man. The Lord is gonna bring fire upon you. That's right! And that's all we can remember. This is the only thing that we got to remember. Old oh, school, old oh, school. What do you remember about our ancestors? Mm -hmm. What do you remember about our ancestors? Give me one thing. Um, right now, uh, from, uh, from the ancestors. Uh huh. Well, well, right now, I, I believe in what you got got going. Let me ask, let me ask. How we got here, brother? Huh? How we got here? Um, we 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 been here all the time. No, but how some of us got here though? Huh? How some of us got here? Some of us got here. Yeah. Some of us caught around here, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Some of us caught around. We know the we know the tribe of Gad, the so-called Native American. Some of us got here anyway. It means. Did you walk here? Let me ask you. Can them can them K Swisses get you here from where we was at? I'm, I might look like this where I get, but I respect you guys where I get. I know where I come from and where I get. You know what? Hey brother, hey brother, hey brother, have a nice day. That's right. You were here to like the credit for the Bible king. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna, my, my brother been great and I'm not gonna play with his interest. Right, you know right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? All praises. All praises. The brother from the tribe of Judah, man, I'm not gonna play with him like he's great. You feel me? But the whole point about the king, we are the true children of Israel. That's right. We must repent and keep God's commandments in these days, man. Right. Do Romans 7 That's right, Ken. That's right, Ken. Right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Right mm. And it reads, Wait. What is this, man? Oh, oh. Talk about, talk about. For thou art an holy people. Order, 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 order. Let me get the man back. Let me get the brother back. Okay. Let me get the man back. You know what I'm saying? Read. Yeah. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. Have chosen thee to be a special people. So, so, that's why the Lord, that's why they come out and nobody beat us in basketball. Right? Football. Right? No matter what, them, they can come on darts. Right? Golf. Hey, man, you talking about hit a little bitty ass ball in a little bitty ass hole from a long ways away. They started that. They thought they had some. Teach up. The next thing you know, Jake creep up in there. Sleep. Hey, right? Hey. God. The first thing they going to do, we're going to go play golf. Is Carlos coming? Mm. Is Dante's coming or not coming? <laughs> <laughs> damn, damn <tennis. laughs> Hey, they, we didn't got we didn't even got to send the brothers out there pretending. We sent the sisters out there. Dominate them. It don't matter what they come up with, man. We excel in all things, right? That's right. Why? Because the Lord said we are special people to him, man. That's right. But we gotta return unto him, man. Look at the lowest state we in. We at the bottom society. Selling dope to each other, right. shooting at each other, doing ain't nobody Chinese man ain't doing it. The Indian man ain't doing right? it. Right? They trade the hotels. Yeah, hey, come on, buddy. I'll give you a hotel next week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, give me free gas and everything. Come right. on, dude. I'm going to give you a gas as soon as you get in the middle. Right. Well, let it take you, man. This thing ain't going to get out. I got this right here. He going to get a cut. I'm going to buy a regal. We tow up from the floor, man. Right. What my boy Drake said, Drake said, we about to <laughs> We is. How do we get out of here, man? Right. Here give me a, can you give me one answer? Of how we can get out of this. Right. Good question. Good question. Great question. Can we just come together on the white on the White House lawn and just run up in the White House like they did on the uh, on the sixth last year? Uh, January sixth. Can we do that? He's all got missiles. Right? This man got all kind of drones. Uh-huh. He can drop a missile on your ass in 30 seconds. Uh-huh. We can't do that, can we? Nope. I'm gonna tell you how we gotta do it. Right. Bring that out. 
chapter 3 and verse 7. Bring it out. Even from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Lord said, even way back in our ancient days, man, mm. our ancestors, we went away from we people's laws and commandments, man. That's right. We return unto me. And I will return unto you. Mm. The Lord said, return unto you. Return unto his long time commandments, man. That's right. Get that in a second, right, King. Because we got to. Right. It's our only hope, man. He's trying to kill us. Right. He's trying to purge us now. Right. You, do you understand what's going to happen when this devil fully wakes up and realizes that salvation is not for him? Right. It's only for you. Right. The Lord told you, man. Christ told you they're going to come down on you, man. Right. Read the King. Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. Therefore, say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will return, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. The Lord said, We got to turn to him, bro. We got to keep his law and his commandments, man. That's what we that, that's what we with the mighty kings of the earth, right? Right. What you know what I'm saying? Let me get me ask you a question. Can I give you a couple of commandments, brother? Before you go, okay. You hear a couple, let me get up. Let me get numbers. Here you go. Let me get uh, Leviticus. You know what I want. Right. Let's get some things, man. Exodus 28. Let's talk about the whole seven. We're just going to give it a couple of milk, man. Let me get Second Peter. Make first Peter 2 and 2, man, real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not out here to storm your brain and make you make you go overboard with knowledge right now, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what the Lord say. Watch it. Bring that game. First Peter, chapter 2 and verse 2. Bring it up. As newborn babes. Desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. That you may grow thereby, man. We want to give you, brother, the simple things out of the scripture that you can grow thereby, King. You know what I'm saying? Read that, brother. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11. Hey, brother, hold on, brother. Hey, brother, 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 you're losing me, bro. I'm trying to give you some commandment. Hear the words of the Lord. Come man. on, come on, King. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Hey, stand as a man, King. Read. That's right. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, and verse 7. Break it out. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. It's a pig, man. Read. Though he divide the hoof right. and be cloven footed, yet he too not the cut. He can't digest his food, brother. That's right. Read. He is unclean to you. No, oh, that's good. He is unclean to you. Let me get some chips. He is unclean to you. The Lord said he gets unclean to us, man. That's right. The Muslims, they got it from us. That was a commandment for Yahweh by Shimei Hosha. That's right. Who he even called God. Right. Yahweh Shah, who he even called Jesus Christ right. today. That was a commandment from him all the way back then. Read. Verse 8. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, uh -huh. and their carcass shall ye not touch. The Lord said, if he did, don't even touch it. Right. Read. That's what we got gout. Right. All kind of uh, high blood pressure. Teach out. Heart disease. Teach out. And you know, you know, mom and grandma don't say, oh, Lord, they found that Johnny got the sugars. <laughs> Johnny be pork, baby back rib, Johnny uh, barbecue sauce, oh, chili. Why? And everybody said, is it, is it hereditary? No, it's not. You just got the same diet that your ancestors had. That's right. Same thing. A damn, a damn alligator. Read. Of their carcass shall you not touch. Uh -huh. They are unclean to you. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales. What must it have? What have fins and, and scales. scales. What you like? What kind of seafood you like, man? Yeah, yeah, what kind of seafood you like? Come on, come on, come on, man. Come on, King. Shrimp. Uh, what's right. like shrimp, man? All right, all right. Oh, that's one strike, y'all. One strike. What else, King? There you Crown go. Hey, my there, you go. Crown there. there you go. That's strike two. Strike two. Go ahead again, King. Keep going. One more. Give me one moment. You in the spirit. Oh, it's a moment. There you go. Awesome. There you go. Right. There you go. There you go. You know Jake love that catfish. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me get, hold on. Now, let's see what the Lord say. Right? Let's see what the, let's see what, what says thou, King? These shalt thou eat. Uh-huh. All that are in the waters. Right. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Uh -huh. In the waters, in the seas, in the rivers, them shall ye eat. See the thing about that? Do any of them things you may have fans of skill? <laughs> Read. <laughs> and all that have not fins and scales. All that what? Have not fins and scales. Have not fins and scales. Have not fins and scales. 
have not business skills, have not business skills in the seas, in the rivers, and all the move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. A what? They, they shall, shall be an abomination, abomination unto you. The Lord said you should hate it, man. That's right. The Lord said he hates it. You know what I'm saying? What now? What day is this, brother? Saturday. Okay. What, what, how many? Okay. What day of the week is Saturday? Count it. Count it. Count it. Count it. Count it. Uh huh. Hold on, hold on, what's that? Is Monday the first day of the week? Mmm. Hold on now. Yo, what's your calendar say? Right? Huh? Okay. There you go, there you go. Is that your final answer? Is that your final answer? Okay, all right. Let's see what the Lord says. Who is that? Exodus! Exodus! Chapter 20 and verse 8. Read out. Remember the seventh day to keep it holy. Six days! Shut thy labor. Six days you can work, brother. You can go get you can get it in. Right. Six days, read. And do all thy work. But the seventh day. But the what? But the seventh day. But the what? But the seventh day. But the seventh day. It's the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. And then thou shalt do, Slocky. Thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughters, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. Nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. Lord said on the seventh day, man, you can't work. You can't do your own will, man. You got to rest and read these scriptures. Right. Matter of fact, come out and hear the word, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I want to see you on this side of the king. Guess what? That's right. These are mighty warriors. That's right. right. These just ain't no damn uh, Bible holding. Uh, we ain't got no two pieces on up here, man. We ain't got no Sunday suits on, man. That's we right. ain't worn like a pair on up here. Man. That's right. We didn't follow the Lord's commandment because the Lord is a warrior, man. That's right. Let me get into 15 and 3, uh, 3, man. Break it out. They told you lies in the church, man. They said that, that Christ was lying. He's living. He's living <laughs> the Lord is not coming back to do all that. Right. The Lord is coming back to your ass, man. That's right. Okay. The Lord is going to come back with his men. You know what I'm saying? Somebody give me Isaiah chapter 1 and verse. Um, you know what I want. 1 and 10. Watch this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain to you how the Lord's man, the Lord's army look. Watch this, brother. Hold on, okay. Bring this out, King. Okay. Look at Isaiah, chapter 1, and verse number 10. Bring it out! And it reads thus Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Ye rulers of Sodom. We rulers, man. But guess what? These rulers of Sodom here, we got to take them down, man. That's right. We're not with this shit. You know what I'm saying? We're not with it, man. These are rulers of Sodom. Read. Give ear unto the law of our God. Our God. They better hear what we saying, man. That's right. All y'all haters better hear what we saying, man. That's right. All y'all sisters running here thinking y'all men, y'all better hear what we saying, man. Right. All y'all brothers who think y'all soft want to be fitted, y'all better hear what we saying, man. That's right. The Lord is calling you to repent in these last things. That's man. right. But we not going to be rulers. We not the rulers of Sodom. We're going to turn away. Because we know your how about shit y'all shot is coming back with fire, man. That's and these right. last things, man. Exodus 15 and 3, King. Exodus. Chapter 15 and verse 3. Bring it out. Tell about your God that you may not have known. Read. The Lord. Who? The, the Lord. Lord. Who? The, the Lord. Lord. Our Lord. Read. Is a man of war. He's a man of war. The Lord is a man of war, man. That's right. The Lord is not playing, man. These brothers are just valiant soldiers in these last days. That's the right. The same people that you're going to see ignited in these last days that go through and fall the earth and slaughter men, slay every man that is not keeping the commandments. That's man. right. Every man to reward every man of his wrongdoings against the children of Israel, man. The same man, brother. You're supposed to be over here, King. we in the wrong fight. we throwing up gang signs. Uh huh. Ripping blood. Uh huh. we been slaughtered by all damn enemies. Man. That's right. The Chinese man looking at you like, yeah, yeah, like, wait, 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 wait. Sell you a damn, damn, damn. damn. Uh, I gave me three dollars today. Quickly. Quickly. Oh, he gonna kill. He gonna go kill him one more. <laughs> Let him kill one more. Madness. You see the, you, you see the, you see the madness, brother. Madness. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm telling you because I love you, brother. I That's right. Repent and come back to the Lord. That's right. I right. ain't right. talking about no Christian church, Lord. Man. Right. Because they don't know what's going on, man. Right. Somebody give me Ezekiel chapter twenty verse, uh, with twenty two verse twenty six, man. Break it they out. don't know. Break it out. teach us all kinds of stuff. They get up in the church and, and finally got a piece of the pie. Well, 
<laughs> we don't own none of these damn buildings, man. We do not own 1019. Right. We don't own 1021. And we definitely don't, don't own the damn uh, Capitol building. That's right. right. That's right. Who got it better than 22 and verse 26. Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 26. Look it out. Her praise. Her, her praise. praise. See, guess what? In America, in Babylon, her preachers, the Christian church, we have violated my law and have profaned my holy days. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. Brother, then we just show you the difference between the unclean and the clean. Yes, sir, brother. Yes, sir. Hey, shut up, be so. Right. <laughs> this, is, this is for you. Hey, this is the answer. Yeah. 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 You know what the answer is? Hold on, hold on. Give me one second. The answer is this. Let me get Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Satan trying this to is the work. answer. This is the answer. The last answer. Hey, y'all, I want y'all to listen to this answer, too. Right. And this is for y'all, too. May not be for you, but this might be for them, too, though. Read, right. Isaiah 14, verse 25. Yeah. For the reeds, prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. Prepare slaughter. For his children. For the identity of his father. Y'all got to pay for your four brothers then. Right. You, George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, we killing all y'all, man. That's right. Days. We're going to round y'all up, put y'all in gates, put y'all in the concentration camp, and y'all going to work, man. That's right. 26 hours a day. It ain't but 24 hours in a damn day. That's right. Hey, sister, y'all got a minute for the word of the Lord. You know, brother, y'all got, got a flag for this brother. Can we get a flag again? Hey, all pray. Reach out to this brother right here, man. We're going to get back to it real quick. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Let me get the book of Psalms, chapter 74. All right? Verse 8. Let me get the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, and verse 17. Let me get the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 1. Verse 1. And hey, somebody, somebody hold Ezekiel 2 and 3. Read <clears throat> that again. Ezekiel 24 and verse 1. No, 20 and verse 1. Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse number 1. Break it out. And it reads thus. And it came to pass in the seventh year, in the fifth month, the tenth day of the month, that certain of the elders of Israel came to inquire of the Lord and sat before me. Then came the word of the Lord unto me, saying, Son of man, speak unto the elders of Israel, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, God, are ye come to inquire of me? Y'all come to inquire of the Lord? Tell your Christian pastor to come inquire of the Lord, man. Read. As I live, saith the Lord, your help, I will not be inquired of you. It's like it. I will not be inquired by of you. Wilt thou judge them, son of man? Wilt thou judge them? Because then, to know the abominations of their father. Nobody ain't going to damn judge them, man. Nobody's going to damn judge the so-called Christian pastor to let them know the abominations they've done in the earth, man. We got to stand up for these last days, man. Give me verse 8, King. Verse number 8. But they rebelled against me. They did what? But and they, they rebelled against me. Same people walking to and fro don't want to stop hearing the prophet. They rebelling against the Lord, man. That's right. Read the King. Son! Chapter 74 and verse 8. Bring it out. They said in their hearts, let us destroy them together. Let us destroy, destroy them, them together. together. They have burned up all the synagogues of God in the land. That's what they'll do, man. If we turn them loose, that's what they're going to do. That's right. They're going to burn up all the damn synagogues of the Most High, man. Read that, right. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9 and verse 7. Bring it out. Thou art the Lord. Thou art the Lord. Thou art the Lord, the God who didst choose Abraham uh -huh. and brought us him forth out of earth of the Chaldees uh -huh. and gave us him the name of Abraham and found us his heart faithful before thee. What is he going to do with us? Found us his heart faithful before thee. And that's what we hope for, that the Lord find our heart faithful and for thee. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But we got to repent, man. Let me get let me get these last pieces real quick. Luke chapter 13 and verse 3, King. Let me get the book of uh, Wisdom of chapter 5 and verse uh, 3 and verse 15, King. 19. And you let me get Revelation 18, 4, and skip down to verse 21. That's right. Minute, I can't. The book of Luke. Just the book of Luke chapter 13 and verse number 3. Bring it up. I tell you not. No, 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 no. We tell you. I, I tell, tell you not. not. This is written in the red. This is the most high. My check your house out. Right? right. But except you repent. But except you repent. And the Lord said, you so-called African-American, Hispanic, and Native American, except you repent. Read. 
He showed all oh, like was perfect. Lord don't give a damn. He said, all oh, y'all gonna perish if That's you don't right. perish in these last days. That's man. right. Bring that up, King. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 19. Bring it up. Oh, this, I want this to be Go ahead. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. Bring it up. And I heard another voice from heaven uh -huh. saying, come over, my people. Hey, brother, say what? The Lord wants you to do what, King? Come, come out of her, my people. people. What? Come, come out of her, my, my people. I want y'all to come out of these ways of Babylon, man. Read, King. That ye be not partakers of our sins. Read that in verse 21, King. Verse 21. And it reads, And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, that's with violence. That's with what? That's with violence. That's with violence. That's with violence. With what? That's with, with violence. violence. The Lord said, that's with violence. Read. Shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. And that's what's going to happen in Babylon, man, in these last days. This city about to be thrown down, man. But y'all got to repent, man. Y'all the kings of the earth, man. The Lord building the real army. And we're going to stand up in front of the ones who are oppressed us, man. But we need y'all to wake up, brother. All right. We're about, to be, we're about to fight the biggest battle we've ever fought in our own life. Man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's what Father's trying to down king to be taken. Let me get two more preachers and I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it to the next body's speaker, man. Let me get the book of Haggai. I am mean, Haggai chapter two and verse 22, King. Alright? And you give me you, you give me what you got. Oh, yeah, you was holding that, right? Wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. We got Haggai, chapter two. And verse number 22. Bring it out. And it reads thus. And I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms. He's going to do what? And I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms. Our God is going to back to overthrow the damn throne of kingdoms. Really? Right. And I will destroy the strength. He's going to do what? And I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen. The Lord is going to destroy the strength of the so called white man, the so called Chinese man, the so called Indian man, and the Arabic man, these damn things, man. That's really? right. That's and right. I will overthrow the chariots. And those that ride in them. All these damn planes, all these damn uh, B 52 bombers, all that's gonna be destroyed, man. Including the Joker that's in them, right? right? And the horses, the what? And, and the, the horses, horses and their riders shall come down. Everyone by the sword of his brother. That's what the Lord said. Everyone by the sword of his brother, man. He's often to go to war against each other, man. Russia against America. Mexican Russia, man. Damn, uh, all the European states, man. This war is coming, and the Lord's gonna take down all the kingdoms of the earth, man. That's right. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 19. Bring it out. For horrible. For what? For horrible. For horrible. For horrible. For horrible. For horrible. It's the end of this unrighteous generation. That's how the Lord said y'all gonna die in these last days, man. I'm gonna y'all call me to be a five man Atlanta man. I'm gonna get up with this body speaker, man. So y'all better repent, keep the commandment, or die the death of America, man. Come on. Come on.